more with MLB.com Entertainment. And we're here with the world-renowned sports artist, Justin Prano. Thanks for joining us, Justin. It's a pleasure to see you again. Good to see you. Um, I actually ran into you the first time at the Ted Williams Museum in Tampa. Mm -hmm. And you are the official artist for the Ted Williams Museum, if I'm correct. Yes. yes so sir. what have you been doing since spring training? Uh, I've been working on a lot of different baseball pieces, a lot of the superstars, both National League, American League, and here in St. Louis for the All-Star Game doing uh, Cole Hamels event, and from here I can actually go to Chicago for a couple days, and then I'll be in Boston and New York doing different events with the players and their charities until the end of the baseball season. We're sitting in front of this wonderful piece of art. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, this is an original painting I did of Cole Hamels. We did this uh, for the live auction that they're having tonight to help raise money for the charity. Uh, and then they have a couple other pieces that were used in the silent auction to raise money for a good class. What are the main pieces that you've done this year since I've seen you? I've done uh, Albert Pujols. I did that obviously for the event. I'm finishing up uh, Chase Utley, Brian Howard. I did a Scott Casimir, uh, Jorge Posada. I did a Dustin Pedroia in the Red Sox as well. Let's talk a little bit about the Derek Jeter, uh, the piece that you have here. It's a lot of times you're using very different variations of color and things like that, but the Jeter picture is very black and white and very classic. Can you tell me a little bit about your inspiration for that? It's I use actually a lot of brown sepia tones. Oh yeah, it's very which give that vintage kind of classic old feel to it which and i titled the piece actually old school oh really so each painting has its own little title and which makes it kind of almost uh kind of like a collector's item for like kids with comic books it gives like another little dimension to the to the artwork well another dimension in addition to that is behind derek you have photos of derek mm -hmm. in the background Yes, most of the paintings I try to get a little concept, something a little different than just your, at least with the modern players, as opposed to the, the older older players, retired players, I go more with a classic feel, where I don't do too much with the background, but with the current players, I definitely try to give it a more modern feel, uh, a little something either about the player or maybe their nickname, something to make it a little different, have uh, my own niche kind of look and feel to my own work. Well, the first thing I noticed, and this is just me, I think being from Major League Baseball maybe, is that on the ball that you're just throwing, you can clearly see the Major League Baseball logo. Yep. So, I mean, your, eye, your attention to detail is just, it's just amazing. Thank you, thank you. And when I saw you painting here earlier, when you were finishing uh, the Cole Hamels piece, I noticed that you had your computer out, and you assumed in so closely on Cole's arm. Like you were doing, you know, I think freckles. Yeah. The, the beginning stages don't <laughs> start looking like this at all. It's very simple, a lot of just shapes. And as I build up the layers, it's getting that fine detail and really building up the texture and detail. And I've got to zoom in to really see as close as I can all the little intricacies, you know, either in the skin or the folds in the jersey. Well, and look here, like even on like the glove, you've got the stitching of the glove just perfectly. Thank you. That is great. And talking about the Albert Pujols piece has a completely different look and feel. I guess I wouldn't say it's more modern, but it's definitely more energy. Yeah. I would, I would more energy. Say. Different color schemes. Does it come to you as you're going? You're just inspired that way? Yeah, I think kind of my artwork kind of leads either into that vibrant, in your face kind of a lot of energy in the artwork, or I go more of that rugged, like the Cole Hamels, Muhammad Ali. A lot of those are more of the rugged feel. So it just depends which direction kind of we go in. And I was looking at not the actual piece, uh, but a picture of a piece you did at Bob Marley. Yes. And I didn't get to see the whole thing, but it's truly amazing, and I think the most colorful thing that I've ever seen by you. <laughs> Thanks. It was definitely a little different piece. Where that piece isn't released, that's just an original. We're just working licensing deal out with that before we do anything further with it. But we are just we have it on the website just to get a feel of what people think of the work. If people want to see more of your work, where can they go? Anyone that wants to see more of the work or purchase, they can go to Sports Art. Illustrated.com. You come here tonight, you're, you're doing this for a great cause, you're very involved with other sports figures and their causes. Uh, are you going to be anywhere soon where people on the East Coast or West Coast or wherever can check out your stuff? Well, while I'm 
in Boston and New York. We are doing, right off the top of my head, I know we're doing something with, with the Jimmy Fund, and we're also, I believe, doing something with Jorge Posada and his charity in September. But anybody that wants to find out about any of that, they can, again, go on the website and find out, you know, exacts of all, all the events. So you can check out another event, support another great charity, and, and get yourself the Find Peace Card.